Well, hey guys, today we are going to change out the seal on the pitman arm of this steering box. Kind of see here it's leaking. Um, I did buy this kit, got it off Amazon. If that helps you guys, here is a part number. Super cool. Um, I don't know what's included in this kit. We'll open it up. I am not sure here. We got that and the box. Let's offload the box. All right, so we have some English instructions. Okay. I do have a few seals here. Snap ring, which let's make sure snap ring pliers will work on that. Yeah, these are nice snap ring pliers because you can switch the direction. Yep, those are going to work. How about that seal, this seal, and that? There's not much to it. Schematics here. Yeah, okay. I'm going to just start by removing the pitman arm, and I got a pitman arm puller here. A few little parts here, um, but I'm gonna start by using this inch and five sixteenths. And a look here. Um, I did put this new pitman arm when I started doing the lift and that, and uh, you can basically see it's leaking, um, leaking all over down here, and it's got a little water in it, I think. So um, cool. I'll show you how I'm gonna remove the pitman arm, and I've never replaced these seals before, but looks pretty simple. Right, let's take this guy off. I need these nuts. I rented this over at AutoZone. It's not the the best thing in the world, but it'll definitely do the job. This is definitely a tool I don't use that often. I'm just gonna snug it up right here. All right, so I'm just gonna basically get these out with snap ring. All right, we got that out. Little magnet, look at that. There you go. Magnet kind of works. There's the job. All right, so uh, now that I got the washer out, the snap ring, and uh, what I'm gonna try is I'm gonna put the pitman arm back up, just like this, and I'm gonna just kind of tighten this up a little bit. And what we're going to do is start the vehicle and I'm going to turn the steering wheel to uh, it should be probably pretty good. So what I'm going to do is turn the steering wheel to where it locks and locks and locks and sometimes it will pop those seals right out of there. So I'm hoping that'll do it because if not, I'm gonna have to drill it and I'm gonna have to kind of get a slide hammer and slowly bring it out as best as I can. So I'm gonna get this in a situation where you guys can see that. Right now it's too high. I'm, and I'll lower it down on the lift and we'll play around. Oh, that made a mess. Very, very messy. 
This just exploded everywhere. Wow. That definitely makes a mess. Saves me some time, but definitely messy. Just got everywhere on the tires. But, save me a little bit of time. Okay, so at this point I'm going to take this Pitman arm off. You can kind of see the seals here. They're starting to pop out of there. And I'm going to try to keep them together. Oh, crap. Didn't mean to do that. So you can kind of see there's another little washer in there. Here's the other seal. There we go. Just kind of hook around that. All right, I'm gonna let that just drain. It's got some water mixed in and other things, so, um, but that basically gets seals out, so pretty easy. All right, so I'm gonna use an uh, inch and a half scheduled 40 piece of pipe to tap the seal into place. Um, you gotta kinda keep it even when you're tapping it into place. And now I'm gonna put the washers, just like I took it apart, that's why you need to know what the stack up is and put my snap ring into place. I have to use a screwdriver to kind of get it set into the groove. And then just verify. I'm gonna clean the surface off so I can just check and make sure it's clean before installing the pitman arm. I'm gonna install this pitman arm and the torque on this is 185 foot-pounds, so make sure you got a good size torque wrench. All right, we got it all installed. Looks good, no leaks. We are ready to go, but guys, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe down below and uh, watch some of my other videos.